Hey, it's Scott from High Point, North Carolina, where we're visiting High Point University today. The president of High Point University is a, a man who's a great friend to all of the five friends, Dr. Nito Cobain. And High Point University is now become the number one regional college in the South, according to the rankings by U.S. News and World Report. Now, this is a college that was in dire straits a decade ago. So what's the trend in business that I'm seeing, and how does High Point University exemplify that? It is focusing on the experience. One of the things Dr. Cobain told us today was that one of the challenges in education is that it's a bunch of old people trying to create an experience for young people, and that just doesn't work. So what I see is the customization of experiences. Are you focusing on the experience that is relevant and timely for your customers? It's an important trend today. Hi folks, what's one of the trends I see in business today? I believe that companies are spending way too much time making sure that their employees are happy and not enough time making sure that their customers are happy. You see, the way I see business working is that when businesses make sure customers are happy, then the customers will pay that company so they in turn can pay the employee. Now, I know that that opinion differs with a lot of the research that's out there and maybe even with a few of my buddies here on The Five Friends. However, I think you work for the company. I think it's your business on your time to make sure that you're happy. I don't think it's the company's obligation to make sure you're happy and that you feel good about your working situation. You're hired to do a job, so do your damn job. And companies, make sure that your employees do the job of keeping your customers happy because they are the ones who have the money. Hey, it's Joe Calloway. What are some trends I see in business? One is a continuing trend, but I see more and more and more of a focus on culture. Look, here's the way it works. Your customers are not going to have a better experience than your employees are having. So if your employees are not happy, <laughs> you're not going to have happy customers. That's just duh. That's a duh factor. Number two, this, the smartphone. The trend is that it's all going to be happening on this before we know it. More and more and more, we're, we're doing business over the internet and particularly over our smartphones, which interestingly enough means that the experience becomes even more and more important. Finally, and this is huge, disruption. And the biggest disruptor of all is simplification. If you can simplify like Uber did, like Warby Parker did, if you can make things simpler for your customer, you're probably gonna win. Have a good day. Hey, it's Randy Pennington. And here's one trend that I'm seeing today that isn't necessarily a good one. You see, too many companies and people are operating in fear of change and the disruption that it brings. I get it. Uncertainty is everywhere. Change is changing faster than it's ever changed before. No one wants to see their company Uberized or their job turned over to a robot. Dealing with unplanned disruption is part of life. But the best companies and performers think of change as a strategic advantage, not something from which they need to hide. You want things to be better, right? Well, if you want them to be better, they have to be different. And if you want them to be different, they have to change. I'll see you next time. There is a lot of buzz around big data and the promise that it holds for everything from getting to know your prospects and customers better than you ever imagined, to improving sales, redesigning products, creating new revenue streams, and more. The challenge is how to extract insights from big data and apply the lessons. Smaller businesses, lacking resources and the scale of large corporations, sometimes feel left behind. They shouldn't. Data, large and small, is everywhere. Things as simple as Google Analytics can give small business people tools they can use to improve their online effectiveness. And you can use other existing data, from information collected by your customer service reps, technicians and accounting department, to outside sources like association and industry reports. Study the data you already have and determine how you can use it to get better. Before you worry too much about more data or bigger data, focus on better utilization of the data you already have.